I think I'd probably enjoy this uh, a lot more than some other people here. Um, I, I find it's... Bad name, cool that's, that's unusual. You normally hate white wines here. I'm not going to mask them so they don't know their mind before you can say they don't crack out of them. It's, it's lovely and spicy. Um, a real black tea and star anise characters. Ooh. Red and black licorice. It's marked with it. It's juby. Um, and it... You know, medium to full weight, some sweet licorice on the finish. It's not a great St. Henri, but it's just a nice wine in a really good place right now. Mm. That was pretty short, yeah? Did you really want to add some more? <laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> I quite enjoy this, actually. Well, it's quite a juby nose, using one of Ian's phrases. Hey, you've got copyright, man. <laughs> he loves his wine juice, but yeah, it does kind of remind me of those wine jellies on the nose. Quite fruit forward. Um, I think a really quite pleasant wine. Mm -hmm. It's a reasonable balance between um, flavour and tannins, and just a good wine. It's um, it, it's glossy. It's um, sweet on the nose. It's almost unidentifiable as to anything being anything other than a Penfolds wine. I, it, it's enjoyable. But relatively uninteresting. Um, it's lovely. Mm. It's got lovely texture to me. Like it's. I, I think. I think for mine, the glossiness is not the palate or the. the it's. It, it, it's this sheen of Penfoldsness that it's. The, the, it's. It's lacking in any distinctive character that makes it something you want to talk about or want to go back for a second glass of. That's the glossiness that I'm talking about. Yes, everything structurally is intact, everything smells as it should, um, but nothing helps interest. Oh, right, because yeah. to me I see, I do see sort of green characters, like it has a green peppercorn chicken-like character, or we teach how they do green peppercorn chicken. Oh, we know. Yeah, we know. That has hints of that, um, but you know, to me, it's still got perfume as well. It's still got life, mm -hmm. and I think I, I think that's actually a strength of Penfolds as well. Though. I think that's being identified with Penfolds. It's also a, a strength of it, and the fact that it's still got life and um, it's generous and soft and silky and cuddly, and it's just it's a nice wine to drink um, mm -hmm. to me. Without being without being exceptional though, but equally, you weren't going to make an exceptional wine from that vintage either. So.